everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Shaving your face doesn't have to be complicated. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. So if you're ready, let's begin. I'm going to start with washing my face with a mild cleanser and after that I'm using a warm towel to just press it gently all over my face. That'll help to open up the pores so if you have any dirt settled in those pores when you're dermaplaning or shaving, everything comes off. And of course you don't have to use a warm towel, this is just optional. If you want you can also wash your face with warm water and move on to the next step. If you have active acne, avoid those areas because irritating your acne can aggravate it even more. Now this kind of face shaving is usually done on dry skin, like naked dry skin without any product. But that irritates my skin and irritates a lot of people's skin. So instead of doing it dry, I always use a gel cleanser. The one that I'm using is from Aveeno. It's very mild. You can also use a shaving gel, a moisturizing lotion or any cream that you use and shave over that. I'm just applying a thin layer all over my face so the razor slides smoothly and if I need to wet it later I'll just have a cup of water right next to me and I'm just going to lather it. For peach fuzz which is that very fine hair on your face you can use a straight edge single blade razor such as this one. Sometimes they are also called the eyebrow shaving razors. This one's called Tinkle. I bought it off of Amazon but my absolute favorite is the one from Revlon. I think they're called diffusers. I'm going to list that as well in the description box below. While holding your razor don't point it downwards and don't point it upwards and definitely don't point it towards your skin. That's going to give you a cut. Instead you hold it at approximately a 45 degree angle from your skin. While shaving, hold your skin taut with one hand, so pull it gently so you tighten the skin around that area and start shaving downwards. And make sure to be very gentle while doing this. You don't have to press it against your skin. That's going to give you nicks and cuts. And then take really short, light strokes. I like to usually start around my hairline and go all the way downwards. Now because I've done my laser and mask treatments in the past, I don't have much hair on my face other than very fine peach fuzz. I had to grow this out for about 14 weeks to even show you guys so the camera can catch. But this is something that I'd like to do once every six weeks because it's going to keep my skin really soft and the makeup application will go on really smooth. Also remember to rinse your razor with every section that you shave. I'm lathering around my cheeks with a little bit of water because that's the section that I'll be working on. And again, I'm doing it very gently in small strokes in the direction of my hair growth. Most people don't shave their face because they think that the hair will grow thicker and that's a misconception. Now, shaving blunts the edges of your hair, so it'll make it feel more stubby and coarse because you're cutting the hair and not really pulling it by the root. So that causes the illusion that the hair has all of a sudden become thicker and coarser, but that's not true. In fact, many of the spas have made dermaplaning a part of their routine. So they're going to use this method to remove some of the dry dead skin that's sitting on the top layer. And with that, the hair is definitely going to come out because they'll be shaving. This side of my face is done and it feels really soft. Now I'm moving on to the other side and I'm doing the same exact thing. Because we are pretty much repeating the same thing, I'm going to speed up the video. Around my chin I have some acne so I'm just avoiding that area and shaving the rest of it. And for above my lip in the moustache area I like to push my lip with the tongue. That way it tightens that area and it's easier to shave. to do the smaller areas at the very end and again I'll be going in the direction of the hair growth and I also like to do my nose I don't have any hair on my nose but I do it because it also removes the blackheads I'm 
I'm going to rinse off my face with cool water and pat it dry. And then I immediately apply a soothing moisturizer, something which has aloe vera or cucumber. And I love this Pixie H2O skin drink. It's very hydrating. So something that's very mild on the face. I love Aveeno too. So whatever you prefer on a, a daily basis and which is soothing on your face, you can use that. I stay away from acids and you know anything that causes a little bit of irritation on the skin. Although the skin absorbs it better, I just like to stay away because I have extra sensitive skin and I give it a break for about 24 hours before I use anything else and that's how you get super soft skin and now your makeup is going to glide on smooth and not cake up because you're also exfoliated and there's no hair I hope the shaving tutorial was helpful let me know in the comment section below if you want to watch more videos like these and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing if you're new here and for your information, I've listed all the products that I've used in the description box right below this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.